and welcome to the channel. My name is Akiva, and we're jumping back in here with To the Moon, picking up where we left off. Uh, head up here just to catch a quick glimpse of that beautiful sunset again. The two of them sitting there and hugging. There we go. And see if we can find some more of these orbs to unlock the mementos. Seeing them walk by gave me two. Not sure why it did that, but it did. It's over here. Anything over here? No. Okay, guess we'll head back down here. There's that. Now we just gotta find that ah, right there. The memento. Two, three, four, and five. So let's go ahead and prepare this one. here to plan this out. We've got five moves. There's that. If we do this one and this one. There we go. Excellent. Let's activate. Let's see what Johnny's doing here. Viva! Oh wait, he, he's not quite as old, so I should probably go back to his real deep and proper voice. Follow him out real quick. Oh, actually, take a quick look here at the rabbit. A yellow paper rabbit. Dear Lord, not again. Oh, yep, I was right. First of those little memory ball things. Anything else to look at? No. Okay. Go ahead and head downstairs. Um, what's in the box? New boxes of plain paper. Uh-oh, I think I know where this is going. Well, yeah, I just gotta have something to make the rabbits out of. An old baby grand piano. How the heck did they move this thing upstairs? Who knows? But I bet it'd be a piece of cake for the TARDIS. Doctor Who reference there for ya. Not really. You can't even get it through its door. Hmm, true. Well, that settles it. Moving pianos is a pain in the arse for everybody. It'd probably take an entire episode to get it inside. I wouldn't mind seeing such an episode. Somehow, I think that they could actually pull off making that interesting. You know, BBC, because, I mean, there was one episode, the entire concept was riding a dinosaur. It was, that was the entire concept. And they built an episode around it. Me neither. Sounds pretty epic. Oh, hey, another memory orb. Let's see, okay, so head up over this way. Nope, exploration got me another one. You went out for a haircut this early in the morning. What are you making there? Rabbits. Did you see the rabbit I left for you? Yeah. 
tell me about that rabbit. Oh? Describe the rabbit. <clears throat> um, it was yellow. What else? A bit puffy. It's just a paper rabbit. I don't know how else to describe it. You're acting strange, River. Is something wrong? River? And she's silent. I don't know about you, but I'm getting some inverse deja vu. Well, I think I know of her condition, but this is rather odd even for that. Do you think she's... she's what? Do you? Perhaps. Who knows? But, like you said, she's not our client. Let's just get what we're paid for over with. And a bucket. Many long strands of orange hair. Yeah. I'm gonna guess... Platypus. Oh, oh, that's the memento. Okay. So this is the day she started it, huh? Ah, there we go. Alright. Let's go ahead. Get this one going. And prepare the memento. This one's actually pretty easy. Just looking at it. There we go. to say there. Go ahead and activate the memento. And Johnny's slightly younger now, so... Let's continue on. a little ominous to me. Exploration orb. I guess they're memory orbs. I forget what they were called. So, moving on here. Sorry about that. Moving to here. This is where, this is where the house used to be, isn't it? The house that never should have been. I mean, really. What is it about unusually high dangerous places that attract me. Received note, acrophobia. Had trouble with, with the acrophobia there for a second, even though, you know, I kind of suffer from it myself. Let's take a look at that particular note here. Something that Johnny and River apparently didn't have. So acrophobia is the fear of heights, if you didn't know. So while we're here, let's go ahead and say we'll go Back up to save number one there. Go. Uh, 
Okay. That was kind of weird. Does that mean there's something over here still? No? Alright. Uh, continuing on then. We will cross up here. Another exploration, and I'm guessing there's going to be one in that backpack. If not, then the backpack is a memento. Is that why you approached me back then? Yes. Oh, yeah. What about now? I suppose it's just a part of it. was a long time ago. It's not too relevant now. But Izzy said I should tell you the truth. I shouldn't have tainted our first meeting like that. I am assuming that that's something that we'll learn about in the future. Well, our future, his past. What is that? A hacky sack? Can you throw this as far as where Anya's at? Anya's at? Anya? Anya? We'll go with Anya. I think that's what I've been saying so far. <laughs> I don't know. You want me to try? Would you? River! Are you insane? Get away from there! I think this memory isn't too far from the last. Think they may be connected? Probably. Okay, so... Got one more. Why did she cut her hair anyway? I like long hair. Yep. And that would mean there it is. The memento. And baboosh! So let's go ahead and prepare this one. Oh, this one's another easy one. So we'll do that one right up there. And two, three, and four. No, no, nothing more? Okay, we'll go ahead and travel. Going back to the past. Young middle age. I guess, young middle age. Kind of weird sounding. Everyone with it is different, John. Just because she and I share the syndrome doesn't mean we share the same head. But you must be able to help somehow. Everything was okay at first, but now... She's even more aloof than before. Even when we're in the same room, she's never really... there. It's starting to take a toll on me. I just don't know how to take it anymore. Well, I can't speak for her, but many of us do long for connections. Though, being able to articulate it is a different story. Just because she struggles to express it doesn't mean she doesn't feel anything. She's still there, right? 
but sometimes you just have to have faith that she cares. That's pretty difficult to do, day in and day out. I know. Wait, but why do you seem so normal, Izzy? I mean, don't you have the same condition? For one, I was diagnosed when I was still young. With effort, it's not impossible to acquire a guise of social norms systematically. But, you know what? I both envy and pity River. Me? I'm an actress, because I've been doing it all my life. Not only on stage, but off stage, and at practically every moment. I've gotten good at it, because acting is the only option I have. It's the only way for me to be normal. And what is normal, anyway? I mean, is it technically any set of activities done on a regular basis becomes your norm? What is normal for you? Just try and keep it legal and socially acceptable, please. But River, she never did that. When I said try and keep it uh, socially legal and socially acceptable, I mean like no murder, no running downtown Wall Street nude or something. Just, you know, within bounds of socially acceptable sanity. We'll put it that way. She remained an outcast and refused to learn to step against it. I don't know if it was by choice or by limit, whether bravery or cowardice. There are days when I just can't stand faking it anymore, and then I realize that it's too late. The Isabel that people know of is all an act, and the real me has long become a stranger. I think in the end, I just envy her. Huh. I've never met a woman with it before. Then, technically, you still haven't met one. This isn't part of our business. Let's move. Okay, one for just being here. I guess. The world be would be a lot more beautiful if people just remembered faces more. Well, that's kind of bleak. Anything new today? No. What are you rereading there? The Emperor's new clothes. I loved this when I was young. Still do, huh? Of course. Just for different reasons. When I was a kid, I loved the Animorphs series. As did I, John. As did I. I know. Your mother gave you a book from it as a, was it, as a wedding present. <laughs> yeah. That was one odd wedding present. I guess I was pretty obsessed with it when I was a kid. Why haven't you read them since? Hmm? I saw them. They're collecting dust in the garage. Well, I just grew out of them, I guess. I mean, they're children's books. What's wrong with reading children's books? They're comforting. I suppose so. I 
think I'm going to get this one. Ah, wow. And he shows up in three different locations. So let's go talk to him real quick. But what about David? He's my favorite character. Uh, I don't know. What are you talking about? Animorphs. Have you read it? No. Yes. Really? Sort of. Oh, oh! Do you know what David- what animal is David's main morph? Um... Oh. Oh, what was it? What was it? What was it? I think David's was the wolf? That doesn't sound right. Don't worry. I'll find it out for you. Hmm. I'm not yours, you're not mine. Be my anti-Valentine. Hey, River, this one's not that corny. River? Hmm. Tobias, Hawk, Rachel, Grizzly, Jake, Tiger, Margo, Gorilla, David, Cobra, Cassie, Wolf. Why? Okay, so Cassie was the wolf, David was the cobra. Okay. Although I thought Cassie was... She preferred the eagle, but... If you haven't read the series, you've gotta... Get the series for... Uh, to understand why I say... Why I think she preferred... Or why I seem to remember her preferring the... Eagle, but I think it was just... The perception. But, whatever. Animorphs. Good series. Check it out if you get get the chance. Oh, just wondering. You could have just googled it. <laughs> yeah, probably, but that would have meant I would have had to leave the, the game. Do you know what, what animal is David made, Morph? Yes, that was the Cobra. As we just learned. Oh yeah, a cobra! I really wish they, ke they kept the old covers instead of these plain sheets. Those were cool. Yeah, that actually that actually showed the the kid morphing into an animal and all that. It was it was pretty awesome. Okay. Perhaps I should reread them after all. I can barely recall a thing from that series. Memento detected. I figured since it was it didn't give me the orb off of these two, that meant that was There we go. Didn't give me the orb and didn't recognize either one of them. I wish we could go back in there, see what was there. Oh well. Prepare the memento. Um, let's do that one first. Oh, okay. After that, it's easy. There we go. And travel. Received a note of the Animorphs. We'll look at it in the next stop.
Ah, late a te late teens. Aw, everyone's leaving already. But I just got here. Seems to happen to you a lot at parties. Oh, go save your childish jabs for the insecure. Alright. Let's go ahead and take a look at that note. Where, there it is. Animorphs, Johnny's favorite childhood books. Okay. So we'll go ahead and save. And we will call it for this episode of To the Moon. Um, if you guys enjoy seeing the indie games like this, let me know. Um, there have been two expansions that have been published uh, for this game. Uh, I can't remember their names off the top of my head, but I will get those for you guys before uh, next video. So, when I start up the next video, I'll let you guys know what the expansions are. And I will ask, both now and then, uh, in the upcoming video, if you guys want to see those uh, expansions in addition to this. So we'll get through this and then go through each expansion. If you guys want to. If not, feel free to suggest a different game. Uh, just by le either leaving a comment here hitting me up on Twitter or on Facebook. The links for those will be in the description below. Um, if you like what you saw, hit the like button. And if you haven't, please subscribe. Both of those will help me out a lot. But until next video, you guys kick back, relax, and enjoy your games.